Hey, Bolts fans, welcome to Inside the Lightning at Home, presented by Outback Steakhouse. I'm here with Lightning head coach John Cooper. Social distancing style. Coach, what have you guys and you and your family been doing during this two weeks of social isolation time? <laughs> Probably a lot of uh, same things that everybody else has been doing. You don't realize how much structure your life is, especially in our job. It's basically game day, practice day, off day. And there's no days of the week. There's no weekends. Like the NHL season doesn't have time for that. And that's just the way your life's structured. And, and so this time, uh, because we're on the road so much, because we're at work so much, you miss a lot of your kid's life. And there's, believe me, um, there's so many great things that I'm blessed to have with the job I have and things that have gone on. But um, family time is not one of them. And during this time, there's been a lot of family time. I mean, it's kind of gone like zero to 60. Uh, but I've really taken this time to take advantage of it. And it's, uh, it's actually, it's been pretty rewarding, to be honest. That is so nice. I know a lot of people who have been doing like that family time. What's some, what are some like family bonding activities that you guys have been doing? Like, are you guys a competitive bunch? Do you like to go and play games or board games, video games, or is it more like, you know, making cookies or? Uh, well, definitely not the making cookies for me. Actually, I'll give you one right now. There's one of the girls. We have twin daughters that are 11 years old. One's right over there. Uh, she just finished her schoolwork actually. Um, because school has basically started for us again. We have two twin girls that are 11 years old, a boy that's nine. And so when they get together, they go at it pretty good. So this, this pool has seen a lot of uh, competitions uh, in the last uh, 10 days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, you, you want to see, I'll show you basically, here's, here's my life. There's okay. A lot that goes on. So here's probably my best friend right now. Ooh. What? that little guy so i've really gotten into i bike a lot now which i never really did um so i'm got myself going like yesterday i got i put in just under 20 miles which is wow. long long for me i've had to build myself up and then here's my other little there's my other little guy too so there's some so, strength building and then some cardio endurance based stuff yes yeah, so that's those have become uh those have become friends and then that's what cools me off. And so I feel pretty blessed being in Florida, basically where my parents are right now, it is snowing. So up in Northern British Columbia. So we're pretty blessed to have it here. But the one difference is, is there's no really social interaction with other people. So it's my wife, our three kids, myself, and that's basically all we see. And we just, we spend our time here and, uh, I think that's probably the one big change that you don't real really realize is how much social interaction kind of matters talking to other people. Uh, but we've had a lot of fun here together and it looks like this is going to keep going for a little while longer. Just being around family, it's amazing because you don't get that time, but it can also lead to some tension. Have there been moments where it's like, okay, I'm going to go over here to be friends and you can like go over there. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the house we have is not that big, so that's not very far to go. <laughs> but no, everybody's got their own room, so we haven't really hit that spot yet. Now, that first week was spring break, so before everybody was really in isolation, you know, we'd go to the beach and do things like that. Um, but now that schools come into play, we, we I think the one big thing for us is still to try and keep a routine. So, you know, we don't really sleep in. We, we still try to get up probably not as early as we get up during the year for school. And then the morning time is for school work and the virtual school that's going on, which uh, it's kind of introduced me back into the, the fray a little bit. And then the kids are free to do, you know, video games as part of the, our time. Wasn't when I was growing up, but it is now. And so they'll do things like that. They'll play in the pool, uh, bike rides, walks are a big part of what we do. And then at nighttime, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's weird because, you know, at my age and the kid's age to find something we both have interest in because it's, it's just different. So if you've heard of a television show called psych, it's kind of like a detective show where he like is a, yeah, he like does that. He's basically, he's super observant, but he makes everybody believe he's, um, 
got psychic ability to solve crimes. And so that is basically what we do at night. So myself and the kids, we get together and we watch two episodes of psych and in between episode one and two, we have what's called a psych snack. <laughs> consists of popsicles or ice cream or whatever. Uh, but th those are kind of some of the things we do. And we've, uh, we've had a lot of fun with it. What's the favorite ice cream or uh, popsicle snack that, that like maybe you ran out of first whenever all of this is happening? Well, they're all different. Like it's amazing to me, especially we have twins. Like how can two girls that were born one minute apart have completely different tastes and interest and in things? So, you know, one of them likes the mint. What is it? What is what's Johnny's ice cream he likes? Mint chocolate chip. What's your kind? Uh, Bubble gum? Yeah. yeah. So like they, they have all those different kinds, but uh, the popsicles are a big thing. And then we indulge in, so sometimes we get that, oh, tiger, tiger. a carrot cake. Ooh. So then you have to make the choice. You don't get both. You get the carrot cake or do you get the popsicle? Most often they pick, they take the popsicle. What do you choose? Like what's your ice cream? Carrot over? cake, 100%. Carrot cake, always. Yeah. Yeah. So the problem is the carrot cake usually runs out first. So I'm robbed of a psych, a psych snack every, uh, probably once every three days. Okay. Well on the food trend, I know that you have a track record for the best barbecue wings. How many times have you gotten out and cooked some chicken wings for the family? Actually, ironically, that's going down tonight. Ooh. Okay. So that's, uh, I saw those out today. Uh, basically, uh, we've got, Ribs, we have these Danish ribs we like to cook. So that's one night. Burgers are another night. Chicken wings are another night. We're big barbecue people. Okay. Obviously with all the restaurants closed, we do do things like maybe we'll go to a breakfast place or I'll go get takeout in a breakfast place because still trying to like help out with local businesses, even if, you know, the, as, as well as we can. We have that. Salmon is in one night. And then uh, chili, make a home homemade chili one night and then I just did like an kind of an Asian themed. Oh no, she did chicken scallopini one night, which was outstanding. Cool. That's the other thing too. We're venturing out of our, our uh, comfort zone of it, but it's been really good. And then it was a rice kind of chicken pot sticker shrimp dish she did. That was really good. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. I know you're a smart guy. You went to law school. The kids are back in virtual school. You said you kind of had to brush up on some things. What subject do you feel most comfortable helping them with? Life. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my department. Jess, my wife, she's amazing at this stuff. She's really helped out in that area. So they'll do their schooling. And then for instance, Julia was like, all right, pick a topic that's happened in the world. And Oddly enough, she picked World War II. I don't know where that came from. So then we talked about it, and then we found something on TV that talked about World War II, and then we watched it. Uh, one of our daughters is into Greek mythology. So then we talked about that. She gives us quizzes on it. So then we have to answer quizzes. So I'm really bad at Greek mythology. <laughs> Getting better, though, now. And then we'll watch something, like, kid-related on that subject. And then that's kind of what we've gone on, and then school days up. For TV shows aside from Psych that you guys are binging? Like the non-kid TV shows? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a few, uh, there's some like docu-series. Are you into that Tiger King show? Oh my God, I just finished it. <laughs> like I couldn't believe it. It was like a cartoon. I could not, and it happens like one of the spots is in, right in Tampa, like yeah. by West Chase up there. So I, I was, yes. Are you I mean, done with it? I'm done with it. Yeah. How on a scale of like one to 10, how surprised were you by like the finale? Of it? Oh my God. Like an 11. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It took me a while to think there's no way this is true. I thought it was all had to be set up. There's no way. That was crazy. I haven't watched that one yet. Oh yeah. That's a, it's a, it's a must see. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to start watching that this weekend. I'll probably finish it before Monday rolls around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll circle back and talk about that one at our the next media scrum. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever that's going to be.